The Democrats haven't passed President Biden's Build Back Better plan. But West Virginia has been seeing a boost in at least one sector of the state's economy. Thanks to efforts by all sides to influence U.S. Sen. Joe Manchin. M-I-N-C-H-I-N-S-A-Y-S-H-E-C-I-N-N-O-T-V-L-T-E-O-F-O-R-B-U-I-L-D-B-A-C-K-B-E-T-T-E-R. Hi V D O N E V E R Y T H I N G H U M I N L Y P O S S I B L A to please the Republicans he's taken money from. Manchin and fellow moderate sin, Kirsten Sinema, D. Arras, have effectively sunk several progressive bills like the Democrats' voting rights bill and the social spending build back better bill by refusing to go around the filibuster's 60 vote threshold. Consequently, Manchin is often the brunt of democratic frustration as Biden's agenda stalls in Congress while he is lauded by Republicans. Last month, a Republican-aligned group launched a $1 million ad campaign to pressure Manchin to support the filibuster. NBC News reported, Call Senator Manchin. Tell him to keep his promise. Tell him to protect the Senate filibuster, the it said. Manchin responded, I've been primaried my entire life. That would not be anything new for me. I've never run an election, I wasn't primaried. This is West Virginia, it's rough and tumble. We're used to that. So bring it on. Manchin and Sinema are both up for re-election in 2024. Sanders' last fall also appealed directly to Manchin's constituents. Penning an op-ed in the Gazette Mail slamming his fellow senator. Manchin answered back that he wasn't going to take orders from a self-declared independent socialist.